today's video, we're going to go over the code that you're going to use to test out the Gmail API. If you watched the previous videos, we went over how you can get the necessary permissions in order to start using Google's Gmail API with your application. And because we want to integrate or connect our Cray AI project with the Gmail API, the first thing that needs to happen is we need to test it and make sure that we're actually able to use the API. Connecting Crew AI to the Gmail API is something I've gotten multiple requests on. So I decided that building out these tutorials in smaller steps will probably be ideal. I know that with each new thing that you learn, there's its own set of errors that you might be running into. Like with this tutorial, for example, you might get some errors where maybe you didn't set the right permissions for your key, or maybe you didn't place your client secret file in the right directory. And that's completely fine. That's a part of the learning process that it doesn't work out perfectly the first time. And I just want to emphasize to you that with each error that you overcome, each obstacle that seems to be getting in the way of the thing you're trying to make, the process of you troubleshooting and overcoming that is much more important than you getting it right on the first try because for each error that you learn to overcome well that's one more tool that you have in your arsenal for future projects or for future things you want to learn later on even with something as simple as let's say learning python learning python isn't just about knowing all the syntax and knowing how to write the code knowing python involves knowing how to troubleshoot and being familiar with the kind of errors that you get from working with python projects so that's just a little rant I had to try and give you a little more encouragement as we move forward with these projects. So this code that we have right here is going to use the simple Gmail Python library in order to test the Gmail API connection that you've set up. And if you've gotten a little bit more familiar with Python, you know that you want to start at the main function, which is going to be the last thing on your file. So our main function right here, it only does a couple of things. It's going to receive the emails from your account. It's going to process the emails and then it's going to export some files for the email drafts. So if we look at this from the perspective of how we want to tie this to our crew AI project, well, like I was saying earlier, the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to pull those emails using the API. That's what this program is going to do. Once we're able to pull those emails, once we know we're able to get them outside of, you know, checking our email physically with our user interface, well, once we have that data, we want to do something with it. We want to process those emails. So if you scroll a little bit farther up, that's just kind of a placeholder method, but it's just to emphasize to you the steps that we want to go ahead and move forward with as we tie this in with a bigger project. Again, we receive the emails with the API and I'll go a little bit over that right now. We're going to do something with those emails. And then ideally, if you're like me, you're probably a little wary of AI in that you wouldn't trust it fully to just completely send out replies, not yet anyway. So I would want to have some files that include the drafts for the emails I'm supposed to send back out. And if we scroll up to our receive recent emails logic, well, this is where the magic is happening with a simple Gmail application, which now that we've set up our credentials and has permission to that inbox, we're able to pull the unread emails, we're able to process them, we're able to get data such as the username, the subject, and the body content that's in the email. Once we do that, we remove the label that says unread for all those new messages. And because we're pulling an email file, not necessarily just the text in the email, we do have to do a little bit of formatting here in order to decode the message. And that's just a fancy way of saying we want to make the message readable to us. So like always, so after you do the git clone in order to download this repository, which I'm going to give you the code for in the description, you're then going to make sure that you install the simple Gmail library, which is just pip install simple Gmail. Once you do that, you're going to make sure you put your client secret .json file in the same directory as your project. If you haven't done that yet, I'm also going to link in the description, the previous videos for getting your, for getting the credentials you need in order to connect to the API. But once you do that, you're just going to do Python main.py. The first time you run this, you're going to get taken to a Google authentication screen. You know that screen you usually get that says sign in with Google and then you're going to click the account that you added in your project. You get a message here that says authentication successful and here we see in the logs that we we're able to process two emails. These were just some sample ones I sent myself. And you can see here the draft.txt file appeared and these are the contents that I had set in that email. Now that we were able to verify that we can pull emails using the Gmail API, we can now start working on linking our Crew AI project to this API. If you need help building out the agents for your Crew AI project, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a video call with me one on one, completely free, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.